Thanks to her father's comic collection, Sue has grown up loving superheroes. Her favorite is Super Moon, who is a normal girl that gets made fun of for her strange hair until she gains powers and becomes a superhero. Super Moon knows who she is and what she has to do, and Sue wishes real life was as easy as that. She's a very lonely girl that gets bothered at school a lot and every day she wishes she had a special skill so someone would notice her. Her mother Maria is always very busy with her work at a prestigious lab and doesn't pay enough attention to her family, which makes Sue's frustration worse. One afternoon after class, Sue is picked up by her dad Christopher and together they go to her mom's workplace to give her a birthday surprise. Sue hopes this will finally make her mom notice her. Today Maria is making a presentation at a scientific event hosted by Dr. Drill to talk about NT26D, a program that will prevent all illnesses. Sue and Christopher sneak inside the lab, and while Sue deletes some equations on the board to write a nice message, Christopher lights the birthday candles. Unfortunately this sets off the fire alarm, causing Maria and her assistant Lenia to abandon the event to check on it. As soon as she sees the board, Maria becomes furious and scolds them both, saying her family doesn't understand how important this is. After the adults leave, Sue is really hurt by her mom's words and angrily throws the birthday cake. This accidentally hits a machine and starts some sort of process. A panicking Sue pushes random buttons to make it stop, but only causes the temperature control to become incredibly unstable and the lab's AI to activate a lockdown mechanism, trapping Sue inside. The AI voice tells Sue to stop pressing buttons, but Sue ignores it and runs to the reactor, which simply breaks. Sue tries to run away but the doors are still locked and the reactor suddenly explodes with a bright light. Moments later, Sue is in an ambulance with only a few wounds, but she doesn't remember what happened. Lenia tells Christopher he can take his daughter home, and Sue is hurt to see Maria talk to Drill instead of checking on her. During the ride home, Sue looks under a bandage and sees the wound is glowing blue, but she doesn't comment on it, she only complains to her dad about her mother preferring the experiments to her own daughter. That night, Sue has a weird dream that mixes memories of the explosion and a meeting with Super Moon. When she wakes up in the morning, Sue is shocked to discover one of her arms is disappearing. It quickly comes back, but she feels so sick that she ends up puking in her bag, and she hides it from her dad to pretend everything is fine. Christopher drops Sue at school and before leaving, he reminds her that he'll be working abroad for a few days so it'll be just Sue and Maria at the house, which Sue isn't happy about. Afterward Sue is checking her locker and discovers she's the only one that didn't get an invitation to the upcoming Halloween party. When she grabs her comics, she's suddenly approached by a new guy called Toby, who also loves Super Moon. Their chat is interrupted by mean girl Eileen and her friends, who are the ones always bothering Sue. They steal Toby's attention and Sue feels so badly that her whole body disappears. Terrified, she runs to the bathroom, where she grabs the paper towels. At that moment a girl comes out of a stall and sees the paper moving alone, causing her to think the bathroom is haunted and run away. Then Sue washes her hands and this makes her body appear again, so when the girl comes back with a teacher, her story isn't believed and they leave. Next Sue puts her hands under the dryer, only for her arms to disappear and her body soon does the same. Meanwhile at the lab, Drill tells Maria to get everything ready for a new conference, not caring if everything was destroyed. After Drill leaves, things start falling off the table and Sue reveals her presence before falling to the floor, becoming visible again. The next morning at home, Sue wakes up saying she still feels exhausted. Maria gives her something warm to drink and recover energy, and when Sue touches it she becomes invisible. As Maria freaks up, Sue opens the fridge and her body reappears, confirming that temperature is what controls her power, heat makes her invisible, and cold brings her back. Maria wants to run some tests and tells Sue not to go anywhere for safety reasons, but Sue calls her out, complaining that her mom only sees her as an experiment. She feels like a freaky monster and only wants this to stop. Ignoring her mother's advice, Sue goes to school anyway. She also tries to call her dad, but he isn't picking up his phone. In the schoolyard, Toby is showing some really cool tricks with his bicycle, and when he sees Sue, he approaches her to chat about comics. Once again, Eileen and her gang interrupt them, telling Toby that he is too cool to hang out with someone like Sue. Suddenly Eileen receives a call with a very weird ringtone and she's so embarrassed that she runs away. Sue turns around and realizes this was a prank caused by App, a weird girl from the robotics club. Suddenly Lenia shows up at the school and takes Sue to the lab, where Maria can run some tests. She explains that the NT26D entered Sue's body, 
and when she checks her wounds, she discovers they're already healed. Using a heating pad, Sue can choose when to become invisible, and they discover that everything she touches also disappears with her including other people, proved by Linia touching her bare arm. However an infrared camera can still detect Sue. Maria starts to worry that this power may be unsafe or used for evil purposes, so she wants to delete all her research. Linia disagrees, and Sue immediately snaps at her mom, pointing out that they need all that stuff to find an antidote, then she runs away. Wanting to hide for a while, Sue goes to the school's basement and takes a nap because using her powers tires her out a lot. Since the robotics club is in the basement, App soon finds her sleeping deeply and wakes her up by throwing water at her face. Then the girls go to grab a bite at the nearby diner and Sue tells App about her power, but App doesn't believe her. At that moment Eileen and her gang arrive and start making fun of them, so Sue uses the chance to prove her story. Using the heating pad, she becomes invisible and attacks Eileen with coffee and a bunch of condiments, scaring her away. Then she becomes visible again and App thinks she's awesome. Later Sue tells her mom the story and Maria laughs, which hurts Sue because she feels like a freak. Maria apologizes for everything and announces they'll have to go into hiding until it's all over. Meanwhile a lab employee brings Drill the security footage of Maria and Lenia experimenting on an invisible Sue, and Drill immediately orders his employee to keep it quiet. Later in the evening, Maria takes a sleeping Sue home. When she moves to the passenger door to pick her daughter up, suddenly strange men appear behind her and kidnap her. Maria screaming wakes Sue up, and she hears her mom say something about finding Alfred and a red mask. Sue quickly becomes invisible and activates the car alarm, causing the men to leave without her. Afterward a terrified Sue calls her dad, but Christopher doesn't believe the invisibility story and thinks the kidnapping is part of the prank too. Not knowing where to go, Sue goes to her school, where Toby is practicing his bicycle tricks. Sue has a breakdown and Toby comforts her before bringing her to his house. He offers her some tea and she becomes invisible, but when Sue says she's a freak, Toby corrects her and says her power is amazing. Sue is grateful but still forbids him from calling the police and falls asleep on his shoulder. The next morning, Sue and Toby go to Maria's car and the door somehow opens on its own. After they retrieve Maria's laptop bag, Sue receives a mysterious call telling her to get in the car's trunk as fast as possible. Both teens get in the trunk when it opens on its own too, and after closing it, which allows them to hear the voice of some men looking around and then driving the car to Drill's facility. When the trunk is finally opened, they see App, who was the one to make the call and now has defeated the men with a taser. Then App reveals she has security footage showing a van belonging to Drill's company kidnapped Maria, her theory is that Drill wants to force her to make more NT-2060. Sue wants to rescue her mom so she'll sneak inside the facility, bringing Toby with her and making them both invisible. As they cross a hallway, Toby trips and loses Sue's hand, becoming visible in front of three scientists. He starts telling a story about a portal but luckily Sue grabs him and makes him invisible again. The duo makes it to the lab and Toby finds Maria's phone plus a sample of NT-2060 while Sue falls asleep on a chair. Outside, App sees dangerous men approaching and warns Toby, so he tries to wake Sue up by kissing her. Sue stops him before they make contact, then she makes them invisible to run away. They're careful in the hallways to avoid bumping into anyone, but when they reach the door, Toby accidentally hits his face against it and leaves some blood on the glass. The guards start chasing them and soon Sue can't keep up her invisibility anymore, but luckily App shows up in her bike and makes it go faster by activating a flux capacitor. With Toby's cycling skills, they get to escape safely. Afterward, App takes them to her Aunt Laura's house. Laura asks to see Sue in private and reveals she used to study with Maria and Lenia, but they had a fight and fell out. Back then Laura tried to warn her about the dangers of selling NT-26D to Drill, but Maria didn't listen. Later App looks at the files in the phone and finds a video Maria recorded of herself running and getting attacked, seeing there's something in the corner of the screen they can't identify. Suddenly they hear a weird noise coming from the laptop bag and they open it to find the red mask Maria mentioned. They activate it and a hologram reveals Alfred, the AI Sue had heard in the lab. Alfred doesn't know where Maria is, but before it can say more, App's mom calls them to have dinner. While having pizza, App shares that this is the first time she's brought friends home because she didn't have any before them. After dinner, the trio talks to Alfred again. The AI confesses that after Maria deleted everything, she used Alfred's superior processor to run tests in secret and find an antidote for Sue. 
Alfred plays a recording of Maria discovering there's a genetic problem and explains that the NT26D only reacts to Sue and has no effect on anyone else. This means Drill is after her, not Maria. Later in the evening, a mysterious figure enters the house to kidnap Sue, only to find Toby in the bed instead. The person escapes through the window before Toby can hit them with a chair, then he finds a syringe on the floor. The following morning, Sue tells App that she and Toby traded rooms last night by accident and this saved her life. Then App reveals she has a surprise, she has made a superhero suit with temperature control, which will help Sue use her power and will keep her awake. Sue loves it and tests it by pranking her friends during breakfast, announcing her new name is Invisible Sue. At that moment Sue is shocked to get a call from Maria, who says she was able to escape from her captors and asks Sue to meet her in the old market by the fountain. She also says she's being chased but the line suddenly goes dead. Later in the market, the trio goes to the fountain and Sue gets a call from her dad. However she quickly hangs up because she sees some dangerous men coming for them. Toby kisses Sue to hide their faces and the first guards walk past them, but soon Drill arrives as well and immediately recognizes them. App uses a drone to knock out most of the guards and while they run away, Drill is shocked to see Maria, not understanding what she's doing there. The trio hides behind trash cans and Alfred tracks Maria's last call, revealing the location to be in the middle of nowhere. However Toby points out that's another trap and that Maria is part of the conspiracy because she brought them here. Sue is offended by the implication but their argument is interrupted by Toby's phone getting a call from Eileen. Annoyed, Sue hangs up and throws the phone in the trash so they can't be tracked. At that moment they notice the dangerous men getting closer, so the trio steals a bike from a delivery guy, unaware that Lenia is following them in a car. They eventually find the road blocked by Drill's men, so Toby makes a plan. Using App's flux capacitor and Sue's power, Toby makes a jump with the bike by copying the movie E.T., allowing them to go above the vans and escape safely. Moments later, they arrive at the location Alfred tracked, which is a creepy abandoned factory. Toby still thinks it's a trap and doesn't want to continue, causing an argument during which Sue mocks him and tells him he'll be better off at the Halloween party with Eileen. After a hurt Toby leaves, App and Sue are surrounded by surveillance drones and Sue can't use her invisibility because the suit got damaged during the bike ride. The girls run away and try to stay hidden, but soon they're found again, so Sue decides to use the NT26D sample Toby found. She throws it at the drones and creates a huge explosion that knocks her out too. Meanwhile Christopher returns home and finds a huge mess in every room before discovering an intruder. Moments later, Sue is surprised to wake up in her bed with Maria sitting by her side reading a comic book. Sue mentions what happened but Maria says it was all a dream, then she asks Sue about her friends. Strangely, Sue doesn't remember telling her mother about them, but she still explains that App is at the abandoned factory and Toby is at the Halloween party. After Maria leaves, Sue tries the door and the windows but they're locked up. Her bad mood is interrupted by Alfred, who has something to show her. Outside, Maria calls her boss to inform she has the girl and that she'll take care of the other teens. Then her body starts transforming, revealing she's actually been Lenia pretending to be Maria all along. At the factory, App sees a car approach and gets scared, but gets relieved when she sees Maria. Moments later, Maria and App enter Sue's room, and Sue freaks out when she sees her mom. She throws Alfred at her and when the AI confirms she's the real Maria, they reunite with a hug. Then Sue explains only people from her family can use Alfred and plays a recording showing Lenia has been injecting herself with Sue's blood so she could acquire powers too. Mixing NT26D with Sue's blood makes it a super serum, and each person gets different powers from it. Remembering the weird conversation Sue had with Lenia about her friends, they realize she'll be killing all the witnesses. While Lenia sneaks into the Halloween party where Toby is, Maria and the girls get in the car to go after him. During the ride, Maria explains she was able to escape, thanks to Drill's help, it turns out he's been on their side all along and was chasing Sue to offer his assistance. She also reveals she did finish the antidote, but Sue turns it down because she likes being invisible Sue now. However they can use it to defeat Lenia. When they make it to the party, Sue gets jealous because Toby is dancing with Eileen. App approaches the DJ and knocks him out with a taser while Sue scouts the dance floor, trying to find Lenia. Meanwhile one of Eileen's friends tries to talk to her and gets ignored, then it's revealed that the real Eileen is unconscious in the bathroom. Sue finds Eileen's friend crying and when the girl says how different and mean Eileen has been today, Sue realizes that's Lenia in disguise. 
When Sue tries to contact the others, only App responds because Maria has disappeared from the car. At that moment the dangerous men arrive, so App locks the doors and activates the fog as a distraction. Sue grabs Toby and begins dragging him away as she explains the situation, but Toby doesn't see why he should trust her. Desperate, Sue apologizes for what she said earlier and begs for Toby's help, but suddenly Lenia appears in her true form and captures Toby. While the men finally manage to open the door, Sue becomes invisible and tells Toby to strike. Toby hits Lenia to get her off him and Sue reappears to inject her with the antidote, causing both to fall into the pool. Toby jumps in the water to rescue Sue and App begins manipulating the lights as she announces this was a special Halloween show as a cover story. Seconds later, a teacher finds the real Eileen in the bathroom while the trio escapes with an unconscious Lenia on a cart. When they make it outside, they find Laura waiting for them, saying App's mom sent her to pick her up. The trio almost leaves with her but Toby freezes when she recognizes Laura's chair as the thing in the corner of Maria's video. At that moment, a bunch of vans arrive and the dangerous men reveal to have kidnapped Maria, Drill, and Christopher. Alfred calls 911 and tells Sue to run before shutting down because of water damage, but Sue is too tired to move. Then Laura explains that all these years, Lenia has been working for her, keeping an eye on Maria and her invention because Laura wants it for her own business. The men capture App and Toby too so Laura can threaten to hurt them if Sue doesn't come with her to provide her blood. However Sue solves the problem by injecting herself with the remaining antidote, making her blood useless. A furious Lore comes closer for revenge, and Sue retaliates by connecting App's flux capacitor to her chair. As Lore begins rolling around like crazy, the police arrive to put an end to this while Sue passes out. Sometime later, Sue wakes up and finds Christopher watching over her. He tells her she fell down the stairs and everything was a dream, but she can tell he's just pranking her. Then Maria reveals she's fixed Alfred and says Sue can keep it. In return, Sue finally gives her mom her birthday present. When she's feeling better, Sue makes a new drawing for her comics, saying she's still someone even without her powers. She meets with her friends and tries to kiss Toby only to end up puking first, and Alfred cuts in to point out she's rejecting the antidote. Excited, Sue holds her friends' hands, and as they yell that they're the Fantastic Three, they become invisible. Meanwhile outside the facility, Dr. Drill begins transforming and reveals he's actually Lenia. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.